everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today's video is all about custom sustainable packaging and this video is actually sponsored by No Issue. Now if you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know that I use No Issue for a lot of my packaging. The tissue paper that I use that goes around pretty much all of my products, I get from No Issue and I've used a few more of their products over the past like six or eight months and it's a company that I definitely like, I have definitely recommended which is why I'm actually proud to say that this video is sponsored by them. Now, if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you know that I don't do sponsored videos. This is actually the very first sponsored video I have ever done. And the reason I haven't done that is because I haven't been approached by a company that I truly use and like, and that's definitely something that I wanna put forth on the channel. I don't wanna promote something that is not something that I use because a lot of people look to this channel for ideas, advice, and recommendations, of course, for their business. And this is absolutely a company that I would recommend and have recommended to everybody that watches this channel. So basically what I'm gonna do in today's video is put a couple candles together. I've got some stuff here to box up and I'm gonna go through and use some of the products that I've gotten from No Issue and some of the stuff that they sent me. So I'm gonna go ahead and point the camera down and I'm gonna show you exactly how I go through kind of uh, and basically show you a condensed version of the assembly line that I go through when I'm packaging up candles. And of course I'm gonna show you on video but they did send me some recyclable mailers and a custom stamp that I'll use for the outside of the box. And of course I will include links to everything that I use in the video in the video description down below. So if you want to do anything like customize your own tissue paper which I've shown in previous videos. Uh, their website is extremely easy to use. I've used it several times to go in and design my own stuff. The stickers that basically go across the top of the box, the tissue paper that goes around all my candles, everything can be done quick and easy on the website. So I will of course include a link to the website down below as well. And let's go ahead and jump right over and I'll show you exactly how I package these. So I'm gonna go through and show you exactly what I do when I package up orders. And this is pretty much uh, the process. I've only got one thing laid out here, but typically I would have just a full assembly line with a bunch of the tissue paper, uh, the new mailers that I just got in from No Issue, the bubble wrap, the candles, the shipping statement, uh, the stickers for the bottom of the candles if I haven't put them on there yet. And then of course tape the box and the stamp from No Issue, which is a real nice thing to have once you get done, you can stamp your boxes. So the bubble mailers are extremely nice. I like these a lot and especially for the people that are out there looking to go with recycled or eco-friendly these are a great way to go these are 100% recycled and they hold melts extremely well so basically what I do with these is the same as the candles I wrap them in bubble wrap and then I also wrap them in the tissue paper which is just kind of an added touch uh, the tissue paper is the tissue paper I've been using for quite a while But with that one, I'm just gonna go ahead and fold those up. Wrap them up individually. Fold those over, and then I just go ahead and tuck those into the mailer. And that's pretty much it with those. The nice thing about these is they are big enough. This is the six by nine one, so you can go ahead and put just a basic four by six label on the front of that, and then it's ready to ship out. Extremely easy, extremely nice, especially, like I said, if you're looking to go eco-friendly, you can't get much more eco-friendly than that. Pretty much everything in here is recyclable. It's all plastics, uh, it's biodegradable. So that's pretty much it with the melts. And then of course when it comes down, and then of course when it comes time for the candles, I'm gonna go ahead and put the stickers on both of those because I didn't do it when I made them. And of course the stickers you can pick up anywhere. We're just gonna go ahead and wrap these up. And for these, go ahead and flip that over so that your logo is on the outside when they unwrap it. Get those. And then I usually take the bubble wrap, fold it in half, and then roll that up again.
Go ahead and roll those up, grab some tape, put that one off to the side, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this other one. And I know I've shown the tissue paper in previous videos. Uh, I love this stuff. It adds a real nice touch to candles. So if you're doing any type of branding, like I've mentioned before, the tissue paper, again, like I said, is just a real nice touch. We're gonna go ahead and set those aside. And of course the boxes, I get these anywhere I can. And then what I do is I go ahead and line the inside of it with the biodegradable packing peanuts. So I'll get a nice base all the way across the bottom, even that out, and then set the candles inside there so that they're, so that they're evenly spaced. And then I'll go ahead and pack those with packing peanuts again. And then if you want to, go ahead and put the packaging label right in the top there so that they can see exactly what's in the box. And then we'll go ahead and tape that up. And you probably don't need as much tape as I threw on there. And then of course, once you're done with that, if you have stickers, I do put stickers across the top of that sometimes, but we're gonna go ahead and use the new stamp. And that puts a Stanley logo right on the side of that. Uh, it definitely works better with smaller boxes, but we're gonna go ahead and brand that pretty much in all corners. And then we'll go ahead and throw a shipping label on that and it's ready to go. All right, so that's pretty much it with this one. The one thing that I did want to point out that I didn't really get across in the video is the reusability of these mailers. Uh, not only are they recycled material, but you can, and I think you can see it right there, it's got two different applications right there. So when you get done with one, and I know a lot of people that watch these videos and a lot of people that are in the candle making Facebook group, they really think about sustainable packaging and reusable packaging. So a lot of the containers that people use, they want people to be able to reuse those. And that's where these come in. Like I said, not only are they recyclable, but you can go through but you can go through and tear this part off and then you can reuse this mailer a second time. So the melts that I packaged up with this one, you can basically go through, we're gonna go ahead and open this one back up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one up. And I've opened that one back up. You can put anything you want back in that and then you can go ahead and remove that second seal, fold it back over and then you can reuse it again. Now, of course, depending on what kind of business you have, candles, I don't know that you're gonna run into too many customers that would actually reuse a bag like that one, uh, but other companies out there and other brands that are out there, you probably would run into something like that. So, so if you're doing any type of mailer where you send something to somebody and then they send it back to you, these would actually be a great option. And then of course the customizable stamp is a nice option too. There are a lot of people that watch the videos and a lot of people, like I said again, a lot of people in the Facebook group a lot of people in the candle making Facebook group that have a lot of labels, and I've shown this in the past where you can create a label that's basically just blank, and then a lot of people will either write in their scent name or use a stamp. So the stamp from No Issue is actually a really good way to kind of go in, customize, and design your own labels, your own scents, so that they really stand out. And then of course you can use basically a default label to where it has your logo and everything on it without the scent name, that way you can go ahead and stamp it or write it or write it in after. And this is actually a great cost-saving method too because I, I know I've mentioned it in previous videos, but I've, I used to go through and I would print hundreds of labels uh, for stuff that I thought I was gonna make only to 
change my label down the road, uh, I've probably got 20 or 30 different Avery stacks of nothing but labels that I'm never gonna use. So this is definitely a nice way to go. Like I said, you go through, like I said, you can go through and print a default label and it's basically just your logo with nothing in there and then you can add whatever you want to after that. So that's it with this one. If you have any questions on no issue or sustainable packaging or if you'd like to see something in a future video, please let me know in the video description and the comment section down below. I'll try to go through and update that. Uh, the next video that's gonna be coming up is basically going through and pouring. I had somebody ask me a little while ago how I go through and how I prep uh, 50, 60, 100 jars, wicks going through, doing the stickers, doing everything like that. So, so over the next week or two, I'm gonna try to put together a video that goes through and shows you exactly how I put all that stuff together. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed in the video description down below. Facebook, Instagram, my website, the phone number if you wanna sign up for any of the text alerts is 253-303-7968. And of course, if you use no issue or if you have used no issue in the past, please let me know what you think of them in the comment section down below. And if you do click the link below, jump over to the website and get anything, please come back and let me know what you got and what you think of their products on your brand. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching. Thank you.